Welcome back everyone! Today we are going to learn all about the ancient Egyptian numbers. Now this video will be fairly shorter than others since I want to go over just the symbols and the numbers that they represent. Then in another video we will go back to these numbers and learn the written spelling and the phonetic value of each symbol, but for now we are going to focus only on the logograms themselves. So let's get started with the numbers. Now first of all they used 1 through 9, which are dashes like these. And sometimes they were grouped differently depending on the sentence or the structure of the paragraph, like this. And they had a symbol for 10, so 11 will be written like this, 12 like this, and 23 would look like this, for example. So it's very similar to Roman numerals. Then they had a swirly rope for 100. And this is a lotus flower representing 1,000. Then 10,000 is this bent finger. This is a tadpole for 100,000, and sometimes I see a frog, so maybe it's both, as long as it's frog-like. And even one for 1 million, and I think that is a king. They also had the use of zero as well, which looked like this. And this symbol also stands for beautiful and divine, but we will learn about that later on. They also had fractions, and they would use our favorite mouth symbol, so one third would look like this, two thirds like this, three fourths like this, and strangely they use this particular symbol for one half. I'm not sure what that symbol is to be honest. Looks like a finger, I don't know. So according to Wikipedia's example, if the denominator was anything but half or three parts or four parts, they would simply put the mouth symbol before the sequence of numbers like this. And this was their example. And this means one out of 331 parts. So there you have it. These are the ancient Egyptian numbers. Watch the next video for more logograms. And we might even get into some phonetics to go with them. Subscribe to this channel for more smart stuff.